Okay, I don't know what that was, but it was something. I'm your Gibbs, and we're back for more Shadow Play, the Forsaken Island. Number three of the Shadow Play series. More games. Of course, this is a Madhead game. And uh, one of my favorite series of this one is the Cadenza one. Actually, I like Maze. Uh, Don Hope, I still have to play the second one. Your Shadow Play, like... Name a series you don't like. Beyond is cool with the sci-fi. Adam Wolf had that kind of like film noir kind of copy thing going on. Uh, I've kind of grown tired of Rite of Passage and Dark Realm, to be honest. But um, certainly there's more than enough good games here for uh, Madhead Games. I'm doing this live for all the beautiful people that are watching. And if you're watching this on YouTube afterwards, Thank you so much, but don't forget, we do this live, full playthroughs on Sundays. So we're going to go ahead and hit this start button. This is the beta. This is kind of freaking me out over here, but let's go. Let's play. We have acts. Look at all the difficulty levels. Accidents, hazard, disaster, catastrophe, and custom. Wow. Let's do accident level. Mark, if you're out there, I will find you. Hello. Would you like an interactive tutorial? I think we'll go special features only. Uh, usually when I'm done playing a beta, it gets removed from my computer. And then when the game comes out, I buy it, and then I install the full game. In no sense, keeping the betas installed. Okay, so, um, we got collectible, standard, squiggly, a madhead collectible. But it looks like we have to talk to people here. We're approaching Ambrose Island, but the environment may still be toxic down there. Here's a USB stick with your mission info. Please review it before we land. USB stick? Okay. We are going to review it and we're going to uh, like it. Uh, the uh, look and feel of the Madhead games are all stupendous. Uh, graphically uh, fantastic games. I need the right sequence to open the door. Do you like the red outfit she's wearing? Yeah, I like that she's got red hair, red lips, red jacket, red skirt, and red shoes. She is completely coordinated. She looks like Canada. She's now unofficially Ms. Canada. Who's this guy over here? We have a first aid kit. And we're going to take a bunch of stuff, because I guess... You never know. We have gauze and a bandage. Trevor and Zane are preparing for the landing. Yeah, exactly. Ms. Canada, right here. Looking lovely. The buckle is missing. We have it. This one is Shadow Play, and it's typically kind of a spooky mystery one, I guess. Hello there. This is the last photo of my brother Mark before the accident. I even wear your necklace at work. Best brother ever. Winky. Love ya, Mark. Mark, Mark, Mark. This is a pretty cool backpack. We have a locator device. This device will guide you through your adventure. You can use it to get more information about something or to help you in a specific situation. This is the beta for Shadow Play 3. Alright, USB stick. Where do I put you? 
There you go. Hello, hello. World news Three today. Years ago, an accident happened at the Corptex research facility on Ambrose Island. Okay. Corptex sent search and rescue drones to investigate, but they only found high levels of toxicity. Everyone was missing, presumed dead. My brother Mark was one of them. He was creating a device that could help the world, unaware of the danger looming nearby. Danger, danger, danger. Chopper door code 732. 12 hours ago, a rescue beacon activated. We've come to search for survivors. I know your brother was on the island. I hope you find some answers down there. Good luck. Okay, Mrs. Canada. One minute to the drop zone. Suit up. Okay. Objective throughout your journey. If you're not sure what to do, this button will show you the current objective. I love how minimalistic this user interface is. Quite lovely. Put on the suit and go to the island. Boom, suit on. All right, let's go. What was it, 732? Boom, door, go, open, fly. Pretend you're a bird, or a plane, or Superman. Scanning the area Aww. for the rescue beacon signal. That's a missed It's originating from the Cortex building down the street. I totally think The survivors should... could be hiding there. Zane, Trevor, let's hurry. They should have did a scene with us, like, flying through the air. Yes, Miss Zane Canada. He's awesome. Oh, collectibles there. How do I... There we are. Guess we have no choice but to move forward. What happened? Trevor! Zane? Fork? We're, we're fine, but this fence is in the way. We'll look for something we can use to break through it. Well, I'm not gonna stand around and wait. I'll search for another way. Okay... Hello, Fork. I don't know why we need you, but let's go. The fact that the fence is like completely barbed wire-ish is kind of weird. I'm missing a switch and a clue for this. For a moment there, I thought someone was there. Why is there like all this moss growing all over these cars? Stay away! Is this some kind of warning? Who left this? I should remove the nail somehow. Oh my lord! Fork? Not a crowbar? A fork acted like a crowbar. Ugh. Oh well. Let's gather up the stuff. We now have a fence switch. We also have some big bolts that need a big wrench. Whoa, what is going on here? Oh no, that's Mark's shark tooth. Hey, hey, bird! Ho <laughs> ho ho ho! Could the air just be toxic for humans? Why did that bird get away like that? We need that bird. It's locked. No crowbar for you, make me sad. The wire is tied tight. I need to cut it somehow. Okay. Interesting. Birdie, birdie, oh, bird, bird, bird. The magpie took the disc. I need to climb up to get it. It's too high for me to reach. Okay. No such luck. Let's go back over here and put that in there, I guess. But we still don't know the clue. The blues clues. Rust remover, arrow, one out of three middle discs. Bandage and gauze. Uh, okay. How do I get up there? 
Can I go back? I cannot. I'm not even sure what to do. I know all the birds in these games seem to steal your stuff. I don't think any of that's gonna work. Um, rust remover? No. The wire's tied tight. I need to cut it. I don't know how to cut it. Rust remover? No. Um. Okay. I do like the fact that they've got the mask here on the outer perimeter. That's pretty cool. Definitely gives you the sense that you're looking through it. Uh, magpie. I have no idea what... Oh, I see. Whoa! The dead are arising! And there's our code, but we need rust remover, though. Man, that's some healthy-looking rust. Good thing we had that gauze with us. All right, magpie, we're coming. Whoa. Uh oh, my mask! I'll die. Wait, I feel fine. Looks like the toxicity is gone. What happened? Hey, where's your mask? Are you okay? Where's yours? Doesn't even look like you got yours on. Look at his bald head back here. I'm fine, but that whatever that was, it destroyed my suit. But I think the air is clean. I guess the toxicity dissipated, but regardless, it's not safe here. We should stick together. Okay, do I trust you or not? Then you wait there. I'll come to you. Mm-hmm. We don't know what's in the mailbox. We need a wrench to unlock it. Okay, so first order of business. Somehow we have to light that up. Bingo. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. Okay, and then we have to go here. One, two, one, two. Oh, shoot. Three. Looking good so far. Number three, back two. And then we have to go back this way. One, one, two, one, two. Spin you right round. I think I have to go one more. Yay! We did it. We already don't trust him. <laughs> yeah, who do you trust? Don't believe them. They're lying. Hey guys, I found something. I I'll check it out. <laughs> you go in there, buddy. No, stop! <laughs> oh well, that's what you get for being a Leroy Jenkins. Gotta wait for the rest of the team. Oh my goodness. Those, whatever they are, they killed him! Oh, wow. Look at him. Rescue team, can you read me? Is everything Ooh. okay? Miss Canada? Uh, no. Trevor was attacked by a creature. We believe there may be more on the island. Creatures? Can you continue with the mission? <laughs> of course. Yes, we have to. For Trevor. And to save anyone who's survived out here. Trevor! We have to save Trevor! I want this stuff first. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened! Oh. What a mess this is. Something's tied up. I can't really deal with that. Taser. Taser needs a little bit of batteries. Well, that's this way to go. This is more dangerous than we thought. We should get going. Where to? Why didn't Trevor bring spare batteries? This is the building the Beacon Signal was coming from. Let's take a look. Let's go inside. Gonna leave Trevor there. Ooh, a little wad of cash. Never know. Well, don't need the money. Are you crazy? Ooh. That was weird. This requires an identification. We have a shiny metal clip. 
Oh man, the place is falling apart. I have to be more careful. The logo button is missing. Okay. Trevor, I can't believe he's gone. It happened so fast. Trevor! Why didn't you bring batteries? I, I have no idea what you want me to do here, game. I don't know how this thing got stuck here, but I need something sharp to pull it out. What about a uh, arrow? Oh yeah. Get in there. Oh my gosh, he looks pretty... <laughs> he looks dead! So dead. Corporate text logo. Put that on here. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's in the pocket. Pocket knife. Good thing that pocket knife was in the pocket. <laughs> All right, knife, do things. Cut, cut, cut. We got glitter. Let's do this. Morph objects. Oh my heavens. Please do shit out the morph objects when you spot them. Oh, look at this. Cut, cut, cut. I'm gonna cut everywhere. Cutting all the flowers. Nice red maple leaf. Reminds me of my old house when I had a lovely uh, red maple tree in the front yard. What else we got here? The tennis ball is missing. Hmm. Wine is usually made from grapes. Okay. Light bulbs and feather. Tennis ball is missing. Aha. There we go. Ladybug. Feather and a light bulb. There's our light bulb. 92 degrees out. Yikes. Is this a zombie game? That's a great 